And welcome everyone to Parker Rink. It is Hockey Day on Aganis Way. It is also Alumni Day and Senior Day. Huskies trying to work from behind the Terrier cage. Josevic now for a wrister and a goal. McDonough on the power play from the far circle. And Northeastern makes good on their first power play opportunity. Scooped up by Curry. Curry jumping in offensively. Buys some time inside the line. Set a pick, dropped it off, puck in front. Saved by Pantano. And a goal, the Terriers follow it up and tie it. That might have been a kick. Now let's see. They're calling it a goal, but there was a skating ball. They went to the net real hard. I don't see anybody in Northeastern complaining. We'll wait for the replay here, but again, Terry's doing a great job rolling that first line out there. Yeah, here's a replay right here. Here's the puck. Here's McDonough. And here comes Quaddy. All right, let's see. It's off the Quaddy. Whoa. It's off the Quaddy skate. Yep. I, th I think that might be coming back. There it is. Let's see. No oh, goal. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so from the beginning. Neil Shea. Lorario, or Solo rather. Solo works it back. Center point. Ryan Shea with a shot. Follow up. Rebound goal. Philippe on the doorstep. The senior trying to extend his college career here and ensure it. Yeah, Huskies did a nice job. They worked the puck around the perimeter. Got that defenseman out in that grade A area high. The Terriers were spreading out trying to protect the passing lanes. Puck got to the net, rebound sitting there. Nobody picked up the loose change except the guy in a black shirt. And now the fun begins. Terriers got to crank it up a notch. This is Terriers an opportunity to roll the first power play out there for the last 13 seconds. Now oh, Harper with a slapper there, and that rattled up. And over the cage, Puck loose. Yeah, good point, Terry. They're going to review the shot that, that Harper took. Oh, Harper shot, yeah. Goal, yeah. Goal. That's what I thought, Bernie, when I saw that first one. And I was looking to see, you know, sometimes you see it as a, like a, it's just a quick look. Right. It was was in and out so quick. I thought it might have been a spot of dirt on the television, but it went in. Yep. Now you got to figure out the time of the goal. Yes. It did get in. Up now scored three. Philippe covered it. Philippe in front. Point blank and a save is made by Tucker. And now picking with speed over the line as Shea bust into the net. In front of the nice save by Tucker. Absolutely robbing Shea coming down central. Ethan Phillips having to play defense there. Didn't do a bad job. No, not at all. So the Terriers of Boston University fall in their final regular season home game of the season on Senior Day, Alumni Day, and the day that the Terriers honored the 1995 National Championship team on their 25th anniversary. Uh, honestly, I didn't. I didn't think it went in. Um, I don't think anyone really thought it went in. But um, yeah, it just took sort of a weird balance off the post and then back bar and out. So um, was a weird one, but happy it uh, got called the goal. Give it to you guys about the goal with just a lot. Um, I think they, they just said it was a kicking motion. So um, obviously when that happens, no goal. Anything else? You guys got senior night before the game. Just kind of your thoughts approaching sort of a bittersweet end to your time here. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously very fortunate to play for BU. And uh, everything uh, they've given me and I've um, given my all to the program. So. Obviously, uh, bittersweet, but with that said, we're looking forward to uh, going to Lowell next week, and we knew we were going to have to win hockey East to, to keep playing, so uh, we got Lowell next next Friday, and we're, we're excited for it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I really read into it too much um, over there, but obviously they have a really good team, I think. They're nationally ranked within the top 15, so um, they seem to be in a pretty good spot. But with that being said, we need to we need to go over there and take care of business. And it's been a really tight three games all year long when we played them, and it's going to be an exciting series. Had you won, you would have had to go to or no. Yeah. And is it almost is it nicer to be closer to home? Or? Um, gotta ask my parents on that one. They probably they probably say yeah, but um. Yeah, uh, obviously being in Lowell's easier commute than going all the way up to Orono, and uh, it's a place where we've had a little bit of success uh, compared to Maine, where it's been a really 
really tough spot for us uh, the past few years, at least during my time here. So, um, like I said, we're excited to, to head up to Lowell, and we're fortunate that it's not five hours away like Orono. Well, it was a pretty tight game, uh, start to finish. I thought we played well. I thought Northeastern played well. Um, they were a bounce of the puck off our glove and, you know, play on the side of the net and a video replay goal that didn't count. So I think it was – I like the way we played. I really do. Tip your cap to them. But I like the way we played all weekend. I like the growth from start to finish, from where we were at the start of the year to where we are now. I uh, really look forward to the playoffs. Um, we're probably playing in one of the best ranks in the league at Lowell versus one of the best teams. Um, and it's it's not far travel, so we're excited to to move on and get into the postseason. And uh, hard-fought regular season for every club in our league. You know, it was a really long grinding year. The only team that probably had a little bit of reprieve was BC, you know, towards the end there, just from the mental re uh, reprieve. Um, so... Tip your captain, Northeastern. Uh, they won the hockey game, but we're in playoffs now. Not that the game doesn't mean anything because you want to win every game, but you know we we, we got to move on and we start a new season. Coach, you guys have seen your night before the game. Could you just talk about what those guys have meant to the program through their time? I think they've been huge. You know, we we uh, had a little reception before the game with the parents, um, and those guys are you know they've you know kind of transform the culture you know they've done a good job from last year to this year the buy-in from the team in all areas of the program is night and day and i credit to all the seniors and the juniors who were here of you know, changing uh what guys do in day in day out what guys do at night how guys go to class how they behave um and it all starts with our captain you know how he handles himself um day in day out socially athletically in the weight room as a student um, those guys have been really good role models to 13 young freshmen you know it's a hard team to to lead and they've done a tremendous job all of them all some of the guys don't have as heavy as a jersey but every guy in that locker room from the grad transfers to to nico lynch who, who didn't get a lot of ice time all those guys made a huge impact on our program uh and you know i told the parents that so i think uh yeah, we're proud of we're proud of what they've accomplished in that regard, um, and we still got a lot of hockey to play, so we're excited about uh, next weekend.